Casey Martin from Wine Country Pens and Wine Country Woodworks. This is going to be a cool video on me making another block out of alumilite resin, spalted oak burl, which is what you're seeing right now, and some stabilized buckeye burl. The spalted oak burl is stabilized as well, and I really like both of these pieces of wood. And if I had a, a piece of either of them that would have fit well to do the kind of layout that I'm thinking of doing in this video, which I end up doing, which is what you'll see right now, which is almost kind of a river-like look where you have wood on the top left and the top right. So most people familiar with my channel know Alumilite resin. If you're not familiar with my channel, welcome. And Alumilite is a polyurethane resin that you mix a part A and part B by weight. And then I put it under pressure when it's all mixed and ready to go. So I'm mixing it up and then I decided to use Micro Pearl Pearl X powder, which you'll see in a second. I decided to just use this rather than any other dye because I really like with the last couple blocks I've made that somewhat transparent look and I think for whatever my customers or people use these blocks for, whether it's knife scales, bottle stoppers, whether they even cut them up into pen blanks, whatever they're used for, I think it's really cool to have that transparent look. It's definitely better on things that aren't pens unless you paint the tube for a pen so that you don't have to see the, the brass. But anyway, I really like the look and there's a close up of the, the resin. Let me know what you guys think about the color and also some suggestions for future colors because I definitely plan on making more blocks like these and sharing the, the videos with you guys. This specific block will be up for sale on my Etsy. I'll have a link down in the description and probably in the top right of the screen you'll see a little eye with a link to that if anybody's curious in it. One condition, if you do buy it, please send me a picture <laughs> just of whatever project you make because I, of course, love to see what they turn into and maybe if the permission of the creator is okay, then I can share it with the, the channel on the next video. So what I'm going to do now is just put it into the pressure pot. For most of you that are familiar, I bring my pressure pot up to 80 PSI. I don't really know the technical differences, like I've said before, between 45 PSI or 80 PSI, but since I have the capability of doing it, I always bring it up just in case. And here is what the block look like, looks like, excuse me, looks like when it comes out of the mold and then it's time to clean it up on the table saw, so I'll do that right now. After it's all cut up, I sand it all down and I cleaned it up with some wax to make it a little shiny, and here is what it looks like. I think it turned out really, really cool. I try to show as many angles as I can. What I forgot to do was to hold it in a way where it puts the buckeye burl at the bottom so you can kind of see that more. But anyway, I hope you guys can can see how, how cool it is. At least I think it's really cool. I really like how it turned out. The buckeye burl looks really great. I luckily got a piece that has a nice contrast of the dark and light wood. And the it's hard to see. Hopefully you guys can see right there on the close up. but. The spalted burl just has so much depth and definition to it. I really love it. And I also love the Buckeye as well, like I was saying. So like the video if you guys liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you're interested in seeing future videos of mine. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And have a great one, everyone. Take it easy.